everyone. Uh, good afternoon to the Toronto Walk and Roll uh, for Russell Bridge to be Canada. Uh, thank you all of you for coming together to break down the barriers for the neuromuscular community. Um, and you caught that, right? We, we were now walk and roll, and, and Michael's going to say a few words, but we really consulted with our community this year and heard loud and clear that our events needed to be more inclusive. Um, so our new brand for this event is our walk and roll, and we've had lots of great um, feedback and input, and that will be, we're planning for next year's as well. So thank you for all of your feedback and input to help influence that decision making. I wanted to thank our Toronto Ambassador, Michael Moore. We are going to be hearing from Michael in a few minutes. Uh, Michael has played an instrumental part in the name change. Um, Michael will provide some um, his experience, um, but definitely um, played a part in terms of providing that feedback so that we could move forward with a more inclusive event. Um, apart from the name change, there is another change. We're all together. This is the first year since the pandemic that we are in person. So we've been meeting right across the nation. Uh, we had two other walk and roll events uh, this weekend. Um, and this is the first year that we've come together. Um, for our Toronto walk and roll event, uh, it was meant to be earlier in the year, as you know, but we were we had the wildfires. Who could have thought of that? So we, we pivoted and adjusted through the pandemic, and now the wildfires, and here we are today. So thank you again. Um, in addition to the Toronto uh, participants, um, we're thrilled. We had to pivot a bit for York and the Peel Walk and Roll event as well. So if you're here from York um, and the Peel event, welcome and thank you. A great, great uh, that our participants were able to come together with those three Walk and Roll events. And thank you for your flexibility. It's been um, it's been challenging, but a great opportunity to uh, to try to get everyone together. And um, I would like to give your, you know, if you could give yourself an applause. Um, thank you so much for your support. So I'll, I'll give you an opportunity to give yourself an applause here. And we, you know, our organization receives less than 1% of government funding. And strategically, we've made that decision because we, you know, we want to invest in public policy and it's hard to advocate um, advocate against um, with government when you do get a lot of government funds. So we really have held to that less than one percent from government funding. But this event alone, we're almost shy of the one point three million dollar goal. So we're starting to see now um, that we are getting back to our normal. Um, so thank you again. Thank you for all of your support. I'm going to pass it over to um, Michael Moore, our ambassador, to say a few words. Thank you, Stacey. <clears throat> I wasn't going to mention the walk and roll, but I can tell you the story behind that is I'm a vice principal. I just retired in June. And a couple of years ago, after a fall, I lost the ability to walk. And so I went into a wheelchair permanently. And that was the first year that I would be participating in a special fundraiser at my school connected to a very famous Canadian man called a walk and run. And a child said to me, I think it was a kindergartner, grade one student, Mr. Moore, you can't participate because you can't walk or run. And following that, my teachers changed the name to walk, run, and roll. And then I discussed that today at MDC because I think it's important to be inclusive. And if you follow me in social media, especially on Twitter or X, words matter and we talk we talk to students a lot about ability by the words that we choose to use and not use um, so i've written down my speech just so i don't forget anything i want um, so good afternoon i'm honored to be the 2023 toronto ambassador for this year's walk and roll i want to thank all of you for participating it seems like we've been waiting for years for to be exact Huge thanks to Stacy and the amazing team at MDC. Your support and assistance means so much to all of us. Thanks also to the sponsors and Canadian firefighters. You really are heroes. To our families, caregivers, and friends out there, your love and kindness is immeasurable. To those of you, like myself with MD or another neuromuscular disorder, your involvement is proof that our muscles may be weak or weakening, but our spirit remains strong. We are not alone today or any day. Thousands of Canadians are on the same journey. 
Today is a great reminder of hope. We have raised money that will fund research for new therapies, treatments, and equipment, and ultimately cures will be discovered. I have said in regards to my own MD, I have MD, but MD doesn't have me. By walking and rolling, we are empowered, we are strong. Thank you all, merci beaucoup, that's wonderful. So I mentioned earlier that um, Muscular Street Canada has its new strategic plan. So for prior to the pandemic, we had um, put together a strategic plan based on consultation from all of our community. Uh, we didn't formally approve the plan. We needed to really adjust um, to the pandemic and needed to, to think about a recovery plan. So this year, the board and our executive leadership team and myself took the strategic plan off the shelf and now we have strategic directions for the next five years, which is really exciting for the organization. So that brings me to, um, if you haven't had an opportunity to uh, complete our survey, breaking down the barriers for the neuromuscular community, please do. We've been meeting with participants across the nation as we're gathering information to better understand the barriers um, for a couple of reasons. One is to make sure that we, you know, if, if we have it right, if there's any gaps and we need to think about some other plans around interventions. Two, to go back to our community, uh, sir, to our government partners to explain the gaps to help influence public policy. So that's really important um, that you do that because we'd like to have the, the most sort of uh, responses that we possibly can to help inform public policy. Within our strategic plan uh, priorities, we are really focused on the earlier diagnosis, getting the earliest diagnosis possible, um, you know that we had a, a wonderful initiative around newborn screening uh, for spinal muscular atrophy. We're looking at all of the other 160 disorders that we cover, making sure that people have a diagnosis at the earliest um, time for a couple of reasons. One is there are some treatments available on the market. Not everyone has access to those treatments. Two, there's a lot of treatments in the pipeline that are going to be coming to Canada for approval. So we want to make sure that everyone has an opportunity um, on their base, their own decision to have access to those treatments. Um, so that's what we're really going to be focused on. And three, that people have the standards of care that they need. So they're getting the right care at the right time um, to have the best life that they choose. So those are the areas that we're really going to be focused on for the next five years. Um, we also will continue with our basket of programs and services. Um, our board continues to be committed to, you know, searching for cures, ensuring that people have access to treatment and therapies, the right diagnosis, but also not leaving anybody behind. So continuing with our equipment funding, our systems navigation program, as we're tirelessly looking for cures and treatments um, that at the same time, we're focused on uh, all of your quality of life, which is critical for our organization. Um, we are going to take a moment of silence. We know that unfortunately within our community, uh, we've had a lot of uh, friends and family, uh, clients, donors, supporters, um, unfortunately pass away as a result of their neuromuscular disorder. So I'd like to take a, a moment of silence, please, and just think about those individuals. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Um, we, we know that, again, within our organization, when we say that our clients are individuals that have a, a, a neuromuscular disorder, we also, our clients are family members and family and educators, and anyone who has, has who is affected or in contact with someone. So please remember that, that we're here to provide for our systems navigation support, emotional support, information, education as well. So if you need those um, supports, please reach out to our mission team, our research team who's at the back of the, the room. Um, now, let me uh, tell you about some of the amazing people um, that have really supported this event. So we have some fundraising prizes. Um, we have walk and roll legends who are among us today, and those are individuals that have raised $1,000 or more um, for this particular event, um, and that's so amazing. Every dollar really counts, but for these individuals, we, we realize just how difficult it is to raise funds, so thank you for all of your dedication and your support uh, for Muscular Dystrophy Canada. We also have sponsors in the room, which are, are really great, and um, you know our participants virtually, it's, it's wonderful that uh, they'll have an opportunity to hear from our sponsors. Um, within our strategic plan, we're very focused on working with industry partners. So um, really working with industry partners on um, ensuring that people have access to treatments, 
um, and that the treatments in the pipeline uh, are approved in, in Canada. So I'm going to um, welcome um, Rob from Biogen to say a few words. Um, and uh, Biogen has been a, an amazing sponsor for the organization. I know I've had the opportunity to work with Biogen and Rob uh, over the last few years around uh, really uh, working with government, uh, working with Health Canada, key decision makers around uh, ensuring that Canada is better prepared and ready for uh, treatment. So I'll pass it over to Rob. Thanks, Stacey. Um, hello, everyone. My name is Rob. I work for Biogen. Today's a day for uh, going out and looking at animals and spending time with families. So I'm going to be going to be brief here today. And just just give you three little things that uh, came to mind as really as, as Stacy was speaking. So, who's Biogen? To me, the story about Biogen that I love is the fact that uh, over 42 years ago, someone who was a really smart scientist from Harvard and a really smart scientist from MIT came together, collaborated, and came up with the first ever treatment. For, for a, a neuro and a really important neuromuscular disease. And so to me, the message really there is about collaboration, which is everything that, uh, that I can say has been my experience in working with Stacey and her team, and everything I see them doing so well, working with the clinical community and with governments. You're not, you're not fighting with them, you're collaborating with them, which is the way to go. Um, the second thing is we're here at a zoo, and zoo is where families go. This is where they come in, so it's so great to see so many families. And uh, over the past number of years, a uh, few years, I think we've all had the opportunity to feel alone. And we all come together like this, it reminds us that we're all a family, that, that we're all connected. Uh, and that together we can accomplish uh, great things. And um, the last thing I'd say is you made a great choice in coming here because uh, obviously it's a important cause and you're spending it with your family but uh, because this organization in particular, I've been in the industry for over 30 years, I've done this type of work, and what I would say is the team who represents you at the Muscular District of Canada is one of the best teams, one of the most passionate teams, one of the brightest teams, and they punch way above their weight. So you've, you've chosen wisely in giving of your, your treasure and your time. This is And now I have the pleasure of having Lauren ask to say a few words. Uh, Lauren, um, I had the opportunity to meet with Lauren Lawrence from Arginex, and Lauren has taught me personally a lot of um, things, and I'm so um, supportive and appreciative of Arginex's ability to really look at uh, ultra-rare diseases. And uh, I know for some of our clients um, who have a neuromuscular disorder, it's been really hard to access uh, treatments and therapy. So, uh, this relationship has been very exciting. We've been doing a lot of work around uh, providing education and information and get, getting Canada better prepared for access to treatment. So thank you so much, Lauren, for coming. Thank you so much, Stacey. Great to see all the faces out here. So my name is Lauren Jarman. I work as uh, in patient advocacy for Argenix. Argenix uh, specifically focuses in rare autoimmune diseases and even more specific uh, neuromuscular diseases. So. Um, we are here supporting uh, the myasthenia gravis community. Um, and a little bit about what I do um, is I help elevate and empower the patient voice. It's a passion of mine. Um, I actually also suffer, suffer from a rare autoimmune disease called myasthenia gravis. So um, fighting for rare diseases and neuromuscular diseases is, is in me and is also in allergenics, which is why um, I do what I do. So. Um, if you want to learn more about myasthenia gravis, you can visit um, mg-united.ca, mg which is a resource available for the myasthenia gravis community to help continue empower and help educate the community. So I'm very excited to partner with Stacy at MDC and uh, continue our work in empowering the patient voice. So thank you so much. We also had Alexon, who's not a representative, was not able to, to attend today as a sponsor, and Jansen. And we also um, uh, had a great, we have a great partnership with Global TV. So for our community, where we're really a rare disease and we're often uh, mistaken by MS, um, we've had great exposure with media over the last three years, and it's continued for this year as well. So I know I had the pleasure of meeting with um, many global TV, breakfast um, television, and um, sharing um, awareness and education around neuromuscular disorders this year. So that, that's been amazing for our community. So I'd like to thank uh, Global TV for that sponsorship as well. 
I wanted to extend a, 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 you know, a huge thank you to our volunteers um, who are out here today to support. We have, a, you know, we have committee members, we have volunteers who help inform um, and give advice and, and do the heavy lifting so that we can run the best event possible. I'd like to uh, thank our staff. Um, our staff at MDC are amazing. Um, I know that with my marketing communications team, we've been meeting over the, the weekend, and with our philanthropy team and our research team and our mission team, um, we've all um, helped to pull this together. So I wanted to thank our volunteers and staff. Also, have to thank our, uh, our firefighters. Uh, firefighters, you know, Must Switch to Canada continues to be the choice of firefighters, um, which is which is great. Uh, they raise millions of dollars for us um, so that we can uh, move our mission forward. So need to uh, acknowledge them as well. And I'm going to move to um, the awards. We do have some awards for participants here at the Walk and Roll for MD. Um, and I will invite Stephanie, Stephanie's coming up. The first award that we have is the Team Spirit Award. So the Team Spirit um, Award is really selected by our participants, our staff around um, you know, it's not necessarily the fundraising, but the energy uh, participation. So I am pleased to share that Marching Monkeys um, is our Spirit Award recipients. So if you want to come up, Maddie's getting everyone on the live stream. Thank you. And our top individual fundraiser is our ambassador, Michael Moore. And our largest team is Team Amar. Okay, and our top fundraising team is Step by Step. Thank you. 
Thank you so much for joining us for the virtual walk and roll today. We'd like to thank our sponsors and everyone who's joined us and to raised money to break down the barriers for the neuromuscular community. We hope that you all get out there and walk and roll today. Take care and thank you again.